Hey everybody, Justin from Utah Air Guns. Wanted to talk today a little bit about pellets versus slugs. And I know you've seen these questions and uh, debates all over the, the interweb, but we wanted to simmer it down a little bit, explain why. why. Why would you use pellets? Why would you use slugs? What's the differences? And so forth. And I think a good way to start that is we're going to talk about what it takes to shoot pellets, what it takes to shoot slugs. Pellets are a very, very simple projectile to be able to shoot. So pellets, as you well know, you can shoot them out of almost any air gun that shoots pellets, right? They have a very low drag to them as far as that, the drag going down the barrel, meaning only the, the tip of that, that the crown of this here and the skirt is the only thing that's touching the barrel going down the barrel. So there's very, very little friction going down the barrel. What that means is it takes a lot less air to push a pellet down a barrel than it does, say, a slug that has a lot more surface to it dragging down a barrel. So why you would use pellets, why you would use slugs though? There's a lot of reasons why one would be better for you than the other. Pellets are a very universal projectile. They can be used for low power backyard plinking. They can be used for hunting still at fairly long distances, right? Depending on the calibers and, and the game that you're hunting, or if you're just shooting targets, whatever, that's where you need to find out, is it is it good for you to shoot a pellet? And for that matter, what size pellet? What, what caliber of pellet? What's good for you? What are you doing with the with the gun that you have? Are we using it to shoot in the backyard or in the campground, shooting you know anywhere from you know 20 yards to 50 yards? If that's the case, you'd probably be more than adequate happy with a 177 caliber air gun, right? Shooting pellets. You can buy 500 of them for you know 15 bucks or whatever. It takes very little air to push them, so your air consumption is is very little. If you want to get into more hunting purposes, 177 still work for that, but you're going to be wanting to limit your distances and the size of game you're shooting, right? So very small game, squirrels, sparrows, pests, even even pigeons and doves, if you're at that close a distance, it'll, it'll dispatch them just fine. Pellets are a great choice. They can be shot out of almost any air gun on the planet, right? Slugs, let's go into slugs. Slugs cannot be shot out of a lot of guns <laughs> because they don't have the power or... They don't have the right barrel for a slug. There's factors here. Because of the shape, because of the way these are designed to work, they need to be going faster. Otherwise, this doesn't stabilize. It comes out and wobbles and destabilizes, and you don't have accuracy, right? So if we're going to shoot slugs, if you're picking an air gun that you can go shoot some long-range shots, you're shooting bigger pests like raccoons, skunks, foxes, things that are typically not as close as a pest bird on a wire at 20 yards, you may be shooting 75, 80, 100 yards. Slugs are going to, for one, they're made to expand. A pellet is not made to expand. It's made to just smash. That's why they're made out of very soft lead. They're very safe to shoot. There's very little ricochet problems with pellets because they're so soft. The shape of a slug goes through the air much more efficiently than a pellet. It doesn't drag itself like, like this big skirt on the back. So what that means is the trajectory is going to be flatter it's going to go farther and it's going to keep its energy downrange a lot farther. When you're selecting a gun, again, what are you going to be doing with it? Where are you going to be using it? These are all factors that we'd want to know to get you the ideal platform for what you want. If you're, if you're wanting a little short compact gun and you're going to be shooting it, let's just say from a mobile blind vehicle, <laughs> something that's tighter quarters, right? Or you want to take it on a side-by-side -side or a, a backpack. Those are not slug guns. If the guns are short and they have power and they are made to be able to switch barrels and everything, go ahead, shoot pellets or slugs if you'd like. Just know you're probably going to be happy with pellets out of a compact gun, okay? Next, we have long barreled rifles and slugs. That is the dream team for shooting long range. If you want to shoot prairie dogs out two, three hundred yards, something that needs that power, you want a longer barrel and you want heavier slugs. So just remember, guns that can make power on short platforms can work for slugs. They still work better for pellets. Longer guns that can make good power, great for slugs. That's what they're designed for. If, if you're wanting to shoot slugs, ask or do your research if it's got enough power to shoot slugs. If it doesn't, then don't buy that gun. Buy a different gun that's gonna shoot slugs well. If you don't feel like you're gonna be shooting over 100 yards quite often, if you're gonna keep it under that, shoot pellets. They shoot great. They shoot efficiently because they don't use as much air. They don't they don't take as much power to get downrange, and they're insanely accurate. I will give you another little little cheat code. 
if you're trying to buy a budget range PCP, say one that's, you know, two to four hundred dollars, there's a good chance it probably won't be the greatest for slugs. Typically, those are made to be pellet rifles, and they are fantastic for pellet rifles. They're typically not made for slugs. I know for saying that, I'm going to have people come out of the woodwork and, and say, well, that's not true. I've, I bought, a, for example, an Avenger, and I shoot slugs out of it. It shoots great. Cool. I'm not saying you can't do it with a budget rifle, but typically, they're not made for it. They are made to shoot pellets. Question is, what do you want to do with pellets or slugs and the gun that you're putting them in? That's the bottom line. That's how I could wrap it up for you today. Hopefully that helps make your decision on what you buy.